The next step for trig antiderivatives is going to be figuring out rules for cotangent and tangent. And for these, we can't rely upon our rules for derivatives because there wasn't a derivative that gave us an answer of tangent of x or a derivative that gave us an answer of cotangent of x. So we can't just go backwards from previous rules. To do these two problems, we're going to have to remember that cotangent is the same thing as cosine of x over sine of x. And tangent is the same thing as sine of x over cosine of x, allowing us to rewrite each derivative problem in this way. And uh, hopefully we notice with each of these that one of the two functions, sine of x or cosine of x, is the derivative of the other. So if we want to do this antiderivative, hopefully we think u substitution. So I'm going to give you a chance to pause the video, see if you can calculate one or both of these antiderivatives, start it back up and see how you're doing. For cotangent of x, I'm doing this one first because it's just a little bit easier. Hopefully you recognize that when you take the derivative of sine of x, you get cosine of x. So I might be inclined to try a u substitution with u equaling sine of x. Calculating the derivative of sine of x, we get cosine of x. And rewriting it in an easier form to use, du equals cosine of x dx. Uh, now, to make sure that we accurately substitute, let's make sure we recognize that our original function can be rewritten as 1 over sine of x times cosine of x dx. So, for 1 over sine of x, I can replace the sine of x with u, giving me 1 over u. And we can replace the cosine x dx with du. And now we've rewritten it into the form of the antiderivative of 1 over u. And this is a rule that we have already learned. The antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural log of the absolute value of u. We don't want to leave it in terms of u, so the natural log of the absolute value of sine x plus c. All right, let's try the same thing with tangent of x. And uh, if you haven't done tangent of x yet, pause the video, see if you can follow a similar process to do tangent of x. Okay, uh, when we come here with tangent of x, uh, we might be inclined to try again. u is equal to sine of x. That means that du is equal to cosine of x dx, just like last time. And trying out the same kind of substitution, we know that this is equal to the antiderivative of 1 over cosine of x times sine of x dx or it might be more helpful for us to write it sine of x times 1 over cos x dx. We can still plug our u in for sine of x, 1 over u, but then when we try to plug in our du, it doesn't match up. du doesn't equal 1 over cos x dx, it equals cos x times dx. So what conclusion do we draw from that? This is the incorrect u substitution. That one doesn't work. Now, maybe u substitution won't work at all, but before we come to that conclusion, let's try a different u. Let's this time try u as equaling cosine of x. In this case, the derivative of u is equal to negative sine of x, being careful to get our sine correct here, negative, and rewriting it into an easier form, du is equal to negative sine x dx. Now again, we had, uh, as we saw previously, this function can be rewritten as 1 over cos x times sine x dx. The u can go in for cos of x, and we see here sine x dx, but our du is equal to negative sine x dx, so maybe let's just go ahead and rewrite it in a better form here, negative du equals sine x dx, multiplying both sides of this equation by negative 1. And now we can substitute that in, giving us the antiderivative of 1 over u times 
negative du. And it'd probably be easier if we just rewrite that as negative 1 over u du. Well, we just saw that antiderivative in the previous problem. The antiderivative of 1 over u is natural log. So this becomes negative natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And substituting back in for u, this time u was cosine of x, so negative natural log the absolute value of cosine of x plus c. And so now we have two new rules that we want to add to our list of six. We have the antiderivative of tangent of x is equal to negative natural log the absolute value of cos x plus c and the antiderivative of cotangent x dx is equal to the natural log sine x plus c. And from these we should be able to uh, do a larger number of trig antiderivative problems.